Are you ready for your next release? Do you have like an action plan or something that you can walk through uh, to really get your song out there and not just throw it up on SoundCloud and YouTube and call it a day? Because um, in this video, we're going to take a look at that and I'm going to show you what I do when I have like a big project that I want to release to get the maximum amount of attention that it can get. And um, just to kind of prepare myself for when the actual project gets released. So today I'm going to show you through a release plan of mine. All right, so this is a document that I've um, called like a release plan. So what this basically means is this is kind of like a document um, where I write down all the things I need, all the information that I need and all the checklists that I need before I can comfortably release a track and know that it's, or um, even like an album, in this case, it's for an album. So I can comfortably re release that project and just kind of feel good knowing that everything I wanted to do for it, all the, the marketing, all the artwork, or um, just in general, everything that I wanted to do is on there and is, is um, exactly the way I wanted to. So here I'm kind of going to go through some of the, the main things that you might want to get into your release uh, plan. Right now, as you can see, this is in the very beginning stage. I'm still working on the production. You can see there's a lot of titles that haven't been uh, filled out yet. So that means that there hasn't even been a project started. Um, and you can also see that release date is for February 2021 um, right now. Um, but that is also subject to change. Um, and that's because the very first thing you need to know about this kind of document is that it's very, very dynamic. It's always changing. Um, there's always new things that are added and new things that are being changed. I update documents like these if you're actively working on the project like almost every day um, with just like tiny bits of information that is nice to keep track of. Um, so let's go through the main things here. So obviously we want to start off with a title. What is the title of the project called? When are you going to release it? And then in this, list, in this case, because it's an album, it's a nice idea to start by just introducing which tracks are going to go where where in the album do you want certain things to happen and um, kind of think about how you're going to build up the album, how you're going to kind of tell a story with each track and um, in what order that story is best explained or, or presented to the audience. So there's a few things that I do. You can see we have the final title of the release here and then we also have the name of the project that I'm working on. So in Ableton, you save the project as a project file and usually when I start a track, I don't know its final title yet. So I'll come up with like weird titles. I have a lot of number titles. I have one that already had like an idea, um, but then I changed the title of it again based on it's, it's still the same idea, but I just titled it differently. And as you can see, there's some sometimes um, a little bit longer. That's a little bit more information, but I also put like thing in there and, and random words like that. So it's really unorganized but it's nice information to have in this document anyway. So there's a few more things in here, except uh, other than uh, the project and the, the main title. We have this FC here, which stands for final check, which means that basically the track is done. All that I need to do is finish all the other tracks and then I'll do a final check on all of my songs, listen to them really carefully, take a whole bunch of notes. Usually it's like one uh, A4 page per song and then I'll change those things um, later, but that's something I do when all the tracks are finished. So when all the tracks have this FC in this file here, we can go and do like the final um, row of things that I want to add and, and change on the track. And then that will be like the album. That's then the, that will be the songs there. So FC stands for that I don't have to touch this project until I am like finished with all the other projects in whatever uh, like album or EP or whatever I'm working on. The final thing here is this WT, which stands for working title. That means that the title that I've given here isn't going to be the final title. And um, for all the other ones here it is, I'm pretty certain on the title of those tracks. But for this one, uh, Calming Tones isn't really the title that I want to go with, but I haven't worked out the track far enough so that I can actually give the title. All right, so now that we've talked about the track list and the way the track list here works in this particular uh, document, we're going to talk about the artwork and I'll also talk a little bit about other assets. 
because um, the artwork is obviously the, the, the main asset. That's what's going to go on the front of your album. It's going to appear in all the digital stores. Um, so there's a section here just for that. And in this case, the artwork has not yet been created. And I've also started to write a pitch. So if I were to commission this to like an artist, then here is a pitch, a basic idea for that artist, what I want to get, what I'm looking for. And I'm going to fill this up with more and more stuff and also get like links to references of things that I like. Maybe I'll um, make like a, a little mood board for the artist to use if they they want that. And this is all where that's going to go. That's all going to go below artwork pitch. So that allows me to easily, if I ever uh, say, okay, now's the time to commission artwork. I already have kind of the idea written down. I know where to look. I know where everything is for that. And it's just easy for me to send that pitch to whatever artist I might like at the time. So some other art that you might be uh, in need of is not just the cover art, but you also might want to uh, get some release art or, or um, like promotion art. Um, so that would be pr probably um, parts of the, the artwork will be integrated with that. Um, so you can see right now we don't have the artwork and um, because usually the artwork is really what sells it and is, is, is really um, what people are going to see when they first find out about your album. Um, you probably need the artwork in order to see what kind of direction you want your promotional material to go to. Um, but in the case that you already know something, let's say you, you know what kind of promotion you want to do for it, or if you want to do a promotion or not, or um, how, like, how often you want to post, maybe you want to set the amount of days until the release and put that in your post. If you know that, you can already kind of like write that down. So that would be also in like this general area of the document. So once you're done with like all the assets, then it's time to start thinking about where those assets are going to go. So how are you going to distribute? Now I'll use Sounddrop, which is a distribute, uh, distribution platform for all these um, platforms here. So these are their partners and um, this is where they distribute my music to for me. And I also manually distribute them to YouTube in the video format, to SoundCloud and to Bandcamp. Um, so those are all the platforms that my music is available on. And um, it's easy to, it's, it's nice to know that uh, kind of for each release. Maybe there's a few releases under different names that you don't want on one platform or don't want on another platform. Maybe you have multiple artist ideas that for one, you're a little bit broader, so you might want to distribute a bit more. Then this is an easy way to kind of keep track on where your releases are going and what you all need to prepare in order to release your track. So then finally here, I have a little section where it's just kind of an example. Um, here, I'm, as you can see, still not convinced. Uh, I want to distribute to YouTube, so that would be this distribution here. And um, I'm still debating in myself over the format. So what I'll do is I'll just write down both of the formats that I'm thinking about. So in this case, that would be, do I want one single long video with all the songs in it and like visuals on top of that and just play it the whole thing through and have the, the whole album be one video? Or do I want every song to have a video of, of its own and have their own visuals, their own kind of feel? And it's a little bit hard for me to see what works best. Um, up until now, I've done only like each song their own video, but I don't know if I want to continue with that trend or if it's better to do it, um, you know, where um, the, the whole album is one video. So it's like a long playlist, um, but that's something I'm still debating with myself. So I will write it down into this release document here. Um, so this right now is the very beginning of it. I just started writing this today. As you can see, it's not... Um, a very detailed document, but it's a good look at kind of what goes on behind the scenes if you want to actually start releasing bigger projects and you want to really plan them out like I'm doing. And um, this document is, is, is really important to kind of keep track of where you are as well. It's a nice way for me to see how far I am into the production phase of it, how far I am with all the, the artwork and everything like that. And in general, um, it's just a good idea to have this stuff written down so that if you are at the point where you need to release your project and where you're getting closer to that final date, you really have everything, um, you know, in the right spot and you have the ease of mind knowing that everything you want to do is written down somewhere. So I hope you like these kind of videos where I kind of just explain 
uh, this kind of stuff. Um, it's a little bit different from what I usually do. Uh, normally I do like actual music production um, if you're new here, um, because this is kind of something new, then that's what I do. Um, but I would like to kind of branch out into all kinds of, of like every part of being an artist and, and what it means. Um, so this is kind of my experiment. If you want to see more, then leave a comment down below what you would like to see next. Maybe you want to see some promotion. Maybe you want to see um, some other parts of, of making like the, the videos for um, for tracks or, or whatever. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. That way I know that this is not a failed experiment and that it's really something that you're interested about. Um, so yeah. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.